I'm Caleb Brooks with the AHSAA Radio Network. I'm at Andalusia High School. I'm joined by Gene Jones, offensive lineman yes, sir. here for Andalusia. And, uh, you know, Gene, man, for you guys here, um, I've been around Andalusia for a while now. I went to school down here at LBW for a year and got to see, you know, this program from the outside a little bit. And, uh, you know, I've always kept up with Andalusia. And, and this program here has been so consistent throughout all the years. Y'all been consistent in your time here, even before you got here. And yes, so, you know, being a guy that's now been able to go through, you're a senior, you've gone through the program, you've really kind of seen what it is. So what is it? What, what makes it so, you know, what, what makes so, everybody so consistent and successful here? I think, honestly, it's the off season. We work hard, the coaches, most coaches tell you what you want to hear or they just dog you out. Mm -hmm. Our coaches is more like father figures and that just helps us grow as a family. Like we're just a big family. Like the smallest guy, if, somebody, if I see somebody messing with me in the hallway, I'm going to step in, but hey, don't do that. That's not cool. Yeah. But yeah, they just, it's like a big family. And, you know, Coach mentioned you guys on the offensive line and talked about how, um, you know, you're one of the guys that, that, that returned and, and came back from last year, which I lost a couple and then have kind of had to develop a little bit of chemistry up front, but it feels like you're really starting to get there That's up front right. on this offensive line. The run game's starting to get going. Uh, really, really good for y'all. You know, what were some of the difficulties that y'all faced as an offensive line early in the year, especially, you know, obviously competition had a little bit to do with it playing That's Sarah it. Land and UMS, but what were some of the difficulties y'all had to face up front? Uh, just some of the other guys not having any playing experience. Mm -hmm. This is our first time starting, and to start out with a team like Sarah Land, like a fast-paced game, I'm not really used to that higher tempo. And, you know, playing a team like Sarah Land, obviously they got some guys on that defensive yes, line there. Um, you know, how much better to playing them you feel like make y'all as a group? I think that helped us a lot. It helped us go out and set our bar really high mm -hmm. so we can we know what we're capable of. We can always have that to look up to. Like if we play someone that might not be as athletic as them, that we know, hey, we still got to play the way we need to play. Yeah. You know, uh, being a former offensive lineman myself, you know, I know all the stuff that goes into being up front. And so what's y'all style like? Are y'all a lot more zone run? Do y'all do a lot of pooling? What, what are some of the, what's y'all style on offense? We do a little bit of everything. Zone, we pull, we um, pass the ball a good bit, we have different protections, stuff like that. What's your favorite thing to do? Run, run block. I love run blocking. You love run blocking? What, do you like to pull when you're run blocking? Do you like just straight on? Like straight zone, on. Just, just zone blocking and, and going after somebody? And, and you know, Coach talked about you're getting better in the run game. I got four good running backs, and then to have guys uh, as quality as you guys have back there, I mean, how much easier does it make y'all's job to be able to block for these guys because they can probably make a lot out of just a little bit. Yes, sir. It helps a lot. Um, knowing no matter what, they're gonna hit it downhill, and I know they're gonna run hard. They know we're gonna block to our best potential. Yeah. So we have that. Hey, if you can't handle this, I got you. I'm gonna run full speed. So we mm -hmm. got each other's back. You know, uh, we mentioned the Sarah Lynn game. To, have, to follow that one up with UMS immediately uh, the week after, how tough was that? It was a little different. It was our, uh, a lot of memories came back to my sophomore year, junior year, stuff like that. Yeah. And it was a really fun game for us. Yeah, and, and you know, look, you guys gave yourselves an opportunity in that game, a late score yes, uh, to tie the ball game up. And, and, you know, to have an emotional game like that, and then to bounce back the next week and get a win, I thought really spoke a lot to your team's character and, and this, this group on this team. But how difficult was it to get over that game and move on to the next week, knowing that you guys were so close to knocking off a team that you guys really probably want to get after? Yes, sir. Well, Coach told us, guys, y'all played y'all best potential. Next time we see them, we'll have a few different schemes. We're going to get after them. Yeah. So I thought we were going to be good. And I mean, you know, obviously, I, I remember when I played, Spanish Fort knocked us out my junior year, which is kind of similar to y'all getting knocked out by UMS last year. And, and yes, that's who we wanted. We wanted Spanish Fort my senior year. And so I'm sure you guys feel the same way. You want to get UMS again in the playoffs and have that opportunity. But you got a lot of games in front of you. You still got to win some of these region games to even qualify for the playoffs. And so, you know, while you're sitting at two and three, you know, obviously, like we mentioned, everything's in front of you. You're in the same situation that you were in a year ago. And so what is the message to this team on really how to have a better, you know, second half of the season and to get yourselves in position to play for a playoffs? Just go get it. Work hard. That's about all I can say, really. Yeah. I mean, just continue to grind. That's the only thing that you really can yes, do, you know. And, and you know, uh, with it being your senior year, 
let's say you do get to UMS again, how special would it be to, to finally get over the hump and, and to beat them in the playoffs and, and knock them out? It would be amazing. That would be something that I would be very happy to be remembered by after I graduate. Like for the our entire class, that would be, that'd be really special. Well, man, I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me. Yes, um, you know, good luck to you guys the rest of the year. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all turn it around. I, you know, I have good faith that it's going to happen because it's just y'all been so consistent here with, with how you've won. But, um, you know, really am looking forward to seeing the second half of the year for y'all. And uh, hopefully y'all do get that opportunity later on this year to play UMS. Yes, sir. Thank you.